In today's video, I'm going to teach you everything there is to know about managing your kingdom of miscellanea. For the requirements, you need to complete a throne of miscellanea, and it's not required, but you get a better yield for items if you complete royal trouble as well. For your equipment, you need one of the other, either an axe, a pickaxe, or a rake. Graceful is recommended, and a teleport out is helpful. But you can either get to miscellanea by using a ring of wealth teleport, you can also take the boat from Relica. So let me show you where that's at. Right here in Relica, you wanna take the main giant dock and there is a ship to Miscellanea. You can also take a fairy ring CIP. So you can either go to your house, whichever way is easier. Remember if you're using fairy rings and you don't have the Lumbridge Elites done, you need your Draymond staff. First thing I wanna talk about is approval rating. Your approval rating goes from 25 to 100. And as you can see up at the top left, if you have rune light, you can see your approval rating. Mine is 124 out of 127. So your approval rating drops by two and a half percent per day or 1% per day if you've done Royal Trouble. There are other ways that it goes down like killing civilians or stealing from stalls, but you really shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff anyway. And there are ways to get your approval up that you'll wanna do at least once per day or every other day or every third day. You don't wanna go too long, otherwise you're literally wasting money. So I would say, you know, if you can check Check back every day, every other day, or every third day. Highly recommend it. This is the most common way to get your approval up, and that is sitting between these two patches, and every single weed is one approval rating. And again, this is just one of the ways, but that's the most popular way. You can also mine coal on the north shore of Miscellanea, which is just north up here. There is the coal. And to show you guys on the map, it's just up here to the north. And also, if you do get a gem, you can actually take them to Minor Magnus, turn them in and get 2%. So fun little fact on that. But yeah, you can just go ahead and mine the coal. You can also chop down the maple trees in the center of Miscellanea. And those trees are right over here, the center of Miscellanea right here. And you can chop these down. They give you a 50% chance to actually get approval rating or not. Same thing with fishing. You can do that on the docks. Here is the fishing spot. It's around here somewhere. It should be a fishing spot. Oh, there it is. And you will need a cage for this as well. Again, the most normal thing to do is to just sit there at the farming patches and just rake. That is the by far the easiest. So after you complete Royal Trouble, there's a few things that you can do as well to get approval. On the northwest side, there, right by the bank, there's teak and mahogany trees. There's also another farming patch. You can also weed and water those flowers to also get approval rating. So that is another thing that you are able to do if you've completed Royal Trouble. And again, I want to call out that if you haven't done Royal Trouble, 2.5% will be taken away every single day, so you'll want to come here more often. After Royal Trouble, only 1% per day, so it makes it kind of nice. So after all of that, you're done with getting your approval rating. Now is the rewards and the coffer and dividing up resources. The way you do that is going into the kingdom itself, into the castle and you want to go up the stairs here to the south. For those of you guys up in Europe, first floor, those of us Americans, second floor, you can talk to Advisor Grimm. And what he does is you can go ahead and click Collect. I'm going to try to not mess this up because I'm doing a loop video later of a month worth of miscellaneous and keeping up with it and the rewards. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sub. Go check out that video. I'm going to go ahead and not, you can click collect resources from here if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to check resource allocation. Resource allocation. If you've only done Throne of Miscellanea, you can only fill up one bar. If you've done Royal Trouble, you can fill up a bar and a half. So for me, I have herbs and I have mahogany logs. Those are the two things I have. You can also do mining, wood cutting, fishing, cooking, farming. And down here at the bottom left, it just shows you how much of the bar you have left. Most of you guys will be doing herbs and then you can pick whatever else you want. There is a coffer and the coffer, you can go ahead and deposit coins. The coffer holds up to 7.5 mil after Royal Trouble. And if you have only done Throne of Miscellanea, it only holds 5 million worth of GP. 50K is taken out every day with Throne of Miscellanea, 75K for Royal Trouble if it's complete. And it's recommended not to go below 500,000 for Throne of Miscellanea or 750,000 for Royal Trouble. Otherwise, you'll start to waste your coins and it won't be as worth it. So just keep that in mind. Try to keep that coffer up there if you're looking for max rewards. 
As far as allocating goes, we kind of went over it. All you need to do is just click these little radio buttons and then you can click the down arrows to remove resources and workers from the area. And then the up arrow obviously adds that. that is literally all there is to it. It is that easy to manage your kingdom. Let's talk about the rewards that we're gonna get from this. Now, I do wanna throw out, I will be doing a loot video. So if you wanna see the loot from a month worth of miscellaneous and keeping up with it, make sure you go check that video out. So if you choose flax, flax will give you 1,250, or if you choose herbs, you can also get Taroman, Harlander, Renar weeds, Irits, Avento, Horm, Catadine, Lanadime, or Dwarf Weeds. The maximum rate is 61 herbs a day, and those will be kind of spread out between those. So for fishing, Tuna and Swordfish are max rate. For Tuna will be 440 and 131 a day. You can also get uncut gems and caskets, Fremnic gloves and boots, key halves, and easy clues can also be obtained from fishing. For mining, you will get coal. The max rate of coal is 546 coal per day. You'll also get some uncut gems as well. For wood cutting, you can get four maples, 892 a day. You'll also get bird's nest for every 100 logs received rounded down. So that means if you have 999 logs, if you round that down, you're only gonna get nine bird's nests. Just keep that in mind when you're doing it. Those bird's nests, you can get tree seeds, rings, or eggs from those bird's nests. Hardwood trees for teaks, you are able to get 301 one per day. Mahogany, you're able to get 223. Or if you're doing both, you can get 121 each. Bird's nests are also received for every 350 logs received rounded down. For farming, a assortment of seeds will be received and you can get 481 seeds. Lastly, I do want to call out in order to get your rewards, you need to click this collect resources button. And that is all there is to managing your kingdom and miscellaneous. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below and I will get to them. Leave a like for an algorithm, subscribe to the channel for more and for the loop video on a month worth of rewards from miscellaneous. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Turn up the summer vibes. Get off your phone one time, would you come outside? Cause we all here chillin', yeah it's the same, all same, all same No we don't play, no play, no games All they wanna talk, 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 talk Why they gonna hate on, hate on me? Damn, but I ain't not trippin' I'm fly as a pigeon, this girl's been eyeing the